Okay, so this next part, instead of being given the sequence or given the rules, last time we were given the rules, now you're given the actual sequence itself. So if you're given this sequence, Can you come up with the rule that defines it? All right. Can you create the, uh, the recursive formula, a formula that builds on itself? So let's look at it. Uh, what type of sequence does it look like? Is it arithmetic? This is minus four, minus three. No, nope, not arithmetic. If it's minus four, minus three, is it geometric? Let's find out. Let's go 12 over 16 should be the same as 12 over 16 should be the same as nine over 12. And uh, what do we got here? This is uh, 3 over 4. And this is 3 over 4. We're good. Yes. This looks like times 3 over 4. So this is geometric with r equals 3 over 4. All right. So similar to what we did last time, let's figure out how to do this. So we would have to define this formula as a1 is 16, right? And then the next term, right? a n plus 1 equals whatever the term currently is there times what like the next term is the current term times none other than 3 over 4 that's it this is a recursive formula right whatever the next one is is 3 fourths times the current whatever the next one is is 3 fourths times the current and on and on and on that's all it is okay I hope that makes sense Take this off. Okay, let's try to create this recursively. Okay, so let's see, is it arithmetic? Plus five, plus 10, plus 20. Interesting. Um, so it's not arithmetic and it's not geometric because eight over three is not the same as 18 over eight. Yeah, these are not the same. So it's neither arithmetic nor geometric. So this one's kind of a, a quirky one. This is a special one. But we did notice, we stumbled on it. It was like, you're adding five, then you're adding 10, then you're adding 20. Let's see if we can use that somehow, okay? So let's say A1 is three. It's the first term there. And now the next term, equals the first, the current term, whatever it is, plus five times something, right? Five times. So let's figure out what we're multiplying by, All right? These are the terms here. Let's go n equals, this is one, two, three, four, and so forth, All right? And that's the first term, n is two, second term, and so forth. So I wonder, Interesting, plus five. Yeah, there it is. See like that five there? You're adding five because it's one N. You're adding that because it's two. So my um, hypothesis will be plus five N. Let's see if it works. Let's see if it works for a couple terms. Okay, first term we have is three. We'll put that down. All right, the next term is the current term, which is three, plus five times, so this is, yeah, let's see, we have it over here, good, which is the next term, this is a two equals a one plus five times one. And that would be a one is three plus five, that's eight, that's good, so far so good. A three would be a two plus five times two, let's put that in red, let, or blue, let that pop a little. Yeah. Okay. A, A plus five. A, A plus five. See if it works. So we did it with A two, A one, one. This should be A three, A two, two. All right, let's find out. A three, the third term, must be the last term, which is eight, plus five times two is 10, plus 10 is 18. Nice, got that. Let's do it one more. A four, 
Come on, baby, I hope it works. I feel like Wheel of Fortune. Big money, big money. Big money, big money. M. <laughs> All right. All right, equals plus five. Okay, four in here. Four, three, three. Did I get it? Please. I don't know if I got it. I don't know if I got it. A4, that is um, the fourth term, is the third term, which is 18 plus, oh, snap. It's, it's not working. Something's off. See that, plus 15? I really needed to get plus 20. So it's not five times something, it's, that's five times two. This is five. Wow, how about this? Do you think I can work this out? Think we can work a miracle? Five, and then this is plus five plus five. This is five, five times one. Yeah, something like this maybe, here we go. This is like five, times one, five times two, five times four. I thought the next one would be five times eight. I think I found it. All right, it's not five N. It's not five N. This is a high level problem. Don't feel bad if you're not getting this. I'm learning as I go, clearly, okay? That's why I love learning so much. It's invitational. I wanna invite you to this process. I was wrong. I was wrong. I didn't plan this all the way through. I think I planned it up to three, but not to the fourth one. And that's where it faltered. And I hope I get it. I ho still hope I get it. This looks to be, this is like, my guess now would be five times, um, N, No, five to two, two is still the base. Five times two to the maybe N here. All right, let's try it. Uh, five times two to the one would work. Okay, I'm gonna take this off now. And I actually have a, glad I have this reference here and work it out. All right, here we go. Five times two to the and this is five times two to the, and this should be five times two to the, here we go. I hope it works. Okay. All right, this is, N, N is one. Go back to red here. This is one. And go back, this is two. And this should be, uh, when N is three, this should be three. Did I get it? No, I don't think I got it still. No, I didn't get it because this would be, and let's go one here. Oh, two is fine. This is A2. This is A2. One, uh, A1 would be three plus five times two to the one. I'm a little off. N minus one. Okay, I think this is the one. This is now zero, this is now one, this is now two. I think I got it, all right. So now we have A2 equals A1, which is three, plus five times two to the N minus one. This is two to the zero, so that would be five. That's okay, three plus five. This is three plus five, and that's eight, check. Next, the third term, which we hope to get 18, is the second term, which is um, eight plus five times two to the one. Five times two to the one is 10. So this becomes eight plus 10 equals 18. Got that one. All right, the moment of truth. A three, which is, of course, 18, plus five times two to the two is four. Yeah, all right, worked it out. 
plus that is 38. All right, an A4. All right, for good measure, A4 equals, according to this rule, A3, thank you for sticking with me, A3 plus 5 to the n minus 1, that would be 3 minus 1, oh, 4 minus 1, excuse me. Yeah, what's n? That would be, where do I get to my n here? n would be 3, that would be a 1, 1 minus 1, so that's 5 times 2 to the, um, I did that, a4, right? This is a5, excuse me, that's why I messed up. 5, 4, 3, yeah, 5 times 8, okay, so got it. So that's a4 is 38 plus 5 times 8, yeah, plus 40. Okay, <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, now, you see how the process works? Even for me, I've been doing this for years, still figuring it out as I go. This one's a high level because it's neither arithmetic nor geometric. So the thing that I would keep in mind is that it may involve N. If it involves N, then that's a, that's a hairy one, all right? That's, that's a challenging one, okay? I'm gonna bring it back to tame status and then we're going to be on our way. We'll be done with this. All right, last problem, this guy over here. Okay. <laughs> I'm semi-surprised I got that. Semi. I was ready. I, I was ready to pull the plug on myself, being like, enough. I was ready to do it, and that'd be okay. I would follow up with you, but pulled it off in the moment. Okay, so we want the first three terms for this. First three terms. All right, this is the sequence rule, 5x plus 2, and the initial is uh, 3. Okay, oh, initial. So the first three terms is x1, x2, x3. That's the idea. This is some initial starting value, what it started out as. So if you plug in 3 here the first time, that will be 5 times the initial value is 15, plus 2 is uh, 17. Okay, and then you do... 5 times the next one, see that? 5 times that, go to tech here. Max, I've maxed my brain capacity for this one. 17 times 5, 85, plus 2, 87. And then 5 times that, plus 2, put it in. 87 times 5, plus 2, 4, 37. All right, there you go. So that's the first three terms of this particular sequence. That's the idea, recursive. It happens again, over and over again. All right. Thanks for sticking with me. Honest to goodness, for real. I didn't know I would pull it off. We pulled it off. Um, feel free to like watch it again and, and maybe forward through my crazy, but uh, we pulled it off. So let that be a symbol for hope. Thanks, bye.